inside the shirt. And more importantly, I saw that Batgirl go inside with it as well. well you saw them too, right? Yeah! You should be able to get it out of space from there. I don't know what this space colony is all about, but I'll find and destroy that kid and then kick their imperial blood. All right. Stage 10, Hidden Base. Find the entrance to hit into Hidden Base. Okay, that's redundant. Yeah, another desert level. God damn it. This one's the worst level in... You know, the worst Tales level ever. Next to the next level. Next Tales level. So many gun robots coming out of nowhere. Plus, god damn, all these platforms are thin compared to Sand Ocean. Yeah, basically blow shit up. Okay, how to destroy these walls? Just keep shooting normally. God, they're everywhere. The gun is everywhere on us. We didn't even do anything. Sure, we destroyed your robots, but that was self defense. Keep show some dignity. Okay, we did just we did just because. This this is also the stage where we'll find uh Tails' uh mystic melody. Okay. okay. Need to change batteries. I like the fact that the bonus points are always uh Server lines like jamming, reactor, cool, nice, perfect, that sort of stuff. I can't, these ones, those kind of robots are everywhere combined, uh, comparing them to those generic flying small guys. Oh god, Eggman's robots are everywhere. Uh, okay, unlike the gun robot, um. Anyways, I wanted to sh uh, besides showing off this clip, um, the, oh shoot, those robots, I forgot what they're called, Eggman's robots, E-series, like the E-10s or something, uh, instead of dropping chaos drives, unlike gut, like the gun robots, they actually drop animals instead, or flickies, as I prefer to call them. Robot monkeys everywhere, let's kill them. See if I can get an A rank without falling into the sand. Oh shoot! Am I not gonna get a hit? Alright, go this way. These blocks are kind of like the walls. South. That is a Mystic Melody door. Just approach the uh, pedestal and then you can use the Mystic Melody and it will bring you to a secret route. I won't be showing them off because it's a waste of time. Oh yeah. Shoot them all. Skipping everything just because I'm in a hurry. Shoot everything in sight. This doesn't feel like it's doesn't feel right tail. Oh, shoot. This doesn't feel like to shoot everything in sight tail. I was like flying. And there we are. There's the entrance.
this is the only stage I can name right now. <laughs> anyway, stage 11, Pyramid Cave. Infiltrate, infiltrate Eggman's hidden base. <laughs> Pyramid Cave is... Uh, it's kind of stun-heavy and also a bit weird. Like, for instance, just jump through a ring and you'll automatically get points. But there's a lot of elements here, like puzzle gimmicks, um, timing gimmicks. Overall, it's really hard to get A rank in this stage. Pretty sluggish, too. Ah, whatever, screw the speed boosters. This is also where we'll be getting the bounce bracelet, which will allow, which will allow Sonic to do the bounce attack. Basically, shut the fuck up, drop old shell. Yeah, you can hurt old shell. I like that. Even throw it. Alright, so, I'll explain that once we get to the area where we can get it. Woohoo! One, two, three. Alright, the main gimmick here are these hourglasses. Just hit them and just bounce on top of the spring, on top of the spring button, and you can open doors. So you have a limited time to get to the doors as fast as you can. This is where we'll get the bounce break from that ring. Oh, that upgrade ring. Basically, all you have to do is press, uh, all you have to do is jump, and then press the B button, and voila, bounce attack. Another gimmick in this level, there's these keys you have to pick up. Yep, there's these keys you have to pick up, and then put them here. It'll open the door, but once you get past it, there's no point of return. No, oh, I want that trailing. Ah, this goes to you too. Get off me! Stop trying to rape me. Whoa. Oh, what the hell? Die, Gamma Marty. Oh, what the hell? Didn't know what they ate. Oh, never mind. Get off me. Grab it! Oh my god, just crap in body. I think the key is respawning if they if you actually threw them off the bottom of the pit. Or if a glitch happens. You can't do light dash while you're holding on to stuff. Okay, about the bounce attack that I couldn't uh, fully explain. Um not got this room, I hate this part. Avoid a lot of ghosts. Ignore the rings because they don't really give you points, and get to the door as fast as you can. If you F up, you have to start over. Ah, oh, shoot. These boosters. Make it. Oh! Oh, I made it! Nice! Okay, so the bounce bracelet. I keep trying to, eff I keep effing up on explaining this. How to use it? Just every every time you use it, not only will it be an extra attack for Sonic, but it'll also be a, but it's also a way to get to higher distances. Oh, there's a gold robot. Damn it! Like for instance, see, it, it, it's much higher than doing a normal jump. Put that one up. So yeah, that's basically the bounce bracelet. Huh, nice, bonus Wait, there wasn't even an hourglass time sound effect. I think we're at the end. Yep, we're at the end. Yes! That's not an A-Rank. Just made it. I always get C's. Looks like we're heading for the center of the egg. That egghead sure loves mechanical things, doesn't he? I'll bet he has one or two spaceships lying around here somewhere. The door's locked. We need a key to get in there. No problem. We can find it. Right, Knuckles? What? Why 
do I have to find the key? We're counting on you, buddy. The world's greatest treasure hunter. Day 12, 12, death chamber. Find the three gate keys, just like in egg quarters. So unlike uh, egg quarters, however, there's no beetle that you have to avoid. There's, they have hourglasses. Right here is where we'll get the, um, what are they called? Punch gloves. Iron gloves. Uh, I forgot the name. The edit will, editing will obviously tell, tell me what it is. Uh, these gloves will break uh, steel containers, no doubt. Also, an, an, another gimmick about this level uh, is, well, not only about, the, not just the hourglass, but there's also these pictures that we can, uh, that we can dig that'll take us to another area that has to take picture. You have to dig through the center, though. I'll try to read it. Yeah, very similar to headquarters. No, not in there. There's also a map system. Two more left. That is the first key. Oh shoot, what the hell? These guys take three hits. Oh shit. There's these other small ones that only appear in Pumpkin Hill, and if you approach it, they just scare you, and that's it.
die, ghost. Ah. Shut up, Omo Jeff. Shut up, shut up, gotcha. Now I'm close to it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, god damn it, I split. Very There we go. I found him. What the? Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, that's somehow rare. Huh? Who's there? What the? A ghost? Okay, this guy comes out of nowhere. King Boom Boo, the king of ghosts. This boss is actually pretty predictable. He throws fire at you, he throws fire at you after the first phase, and he tries to chase you. Don't get close or else he'll chop you. And then he does this fire breath. And then you have to hit this ghost. What the hell was my problem? Hit this ghost, uh, the windows will open, causing him to withdraw. Well, turn to a shadow, actually. And then all you have to do is go above the shadow and then drill claw him. And then go after him and then punch him. He does get faster and you can even score two hits. Oh yeah. He does get faster. So yeah. I'm already halfway done. He takes four hits. This guy was shoehorned in because, well, Knuckles needed a boss. He didn't have a boss just yet. Okay, now he starts running faster. Every way he has two hits left. Also, you don't want to outrun him when he's uh, shooting a spire. This guy makes hilarious sounds. Especially that. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. I wonder if I can get another two hits. Not a, okay, so he doesn't just go on the ground, he also goes goes on the wall, which you gotta climb and then dig. Got him. Oh shoot. No, oh, damn it. Also, I think there is also an a, a uh a uh, bombless pit uh, right on the uh, side, so you don't want to fall down there. Wait, get the fuck away from me, dude. Okay, your rainbow tongue is the best thing about you. The best part of your design. I mean, it's like you ate so much popsicles or whatever. Hard, hard fruit candy, and your tongue just became rainbow. Yeah. This boss can take a while. Get over here. You're not getting away from me that easily. Oh shit. And booyah.